Zupu versus Inno Clans. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh here. Today, I want to do a little review on this Umzu Zupu. Now, I'm just going to say it right off the bat. I just hate that name. I hate saying the word poo. <laughs> I understand why they named it that, but it's just like, man, I don't like saying that. I'm going to be honest with you. So, uh, Umzu or Zupu, they have put out tons and tons and tons of ads online, um, basically talking about how you have so much waste in your stomach, and if you take this, it's going to flush it out. And there's so many colon cleanse products on the market that it almost seems like this was even more well thought out. It was going to be better than any of their colon cleanse you'd ever tried, this and that, right? This company, InnoCleanse, reached out to me. They sent me a whole gut stack and I was absolutely blown away by this product. Being somebody who has uh, actually pretty bad constipation and I'm somebody who takes lots and lots of supplements all the time, magnesium, ginger, um, senna, you know what I mean? Like not constantly, but I'm keeping them in my repertoire. I was absolutely blown away by how effective this product was. And when I would see this product's commercials, Zupu, the way they would talk about, it's just, gonna work better than any other colon cleanse. Like this is what this colon cleanse did for me. This is already really expensive. I think this is like 43 bucks for 60 pills. And this is 40 bucks for 30 pills. So it's literally half the amount. And this was already expensive and you literally get half for this bottle right here. So I was like, not really interested in the Zupu, but for review's sake, I decided to do it. Now, I do wanna say a real quick little story. I know you're coming here for the review, but I just wanna say, I ran out of this product. This product's like uh, my main product for you know keeping my stomach working properly. I decided I was gonna try this one out. Uh, I ordered this, I waited like a week, it didn't come. I ended up, I ended up getting this on eBay from Umzu. I wrote them like, hey man, it's been a week. I already had to order another one of these. Can you just refund me? my money and blah, blah, they're like, oh, it said it's been delivered, blah, blah, blah. So like a week, week and a half after they, or like they, they refund me my money, a few days go by and this shows up in the mail. And I was just like, oh my God. Cause like, I'm like a believer in karma. And it's like, why? Like it literally said delivered and then it wasn't here for like 11 days. You know what I mean? And like, if you have a colon cleanse, like you're gonna need that. You can't wait 11 days. And like, I had no control over when they found it. You know, I get a, I have a PO box and they found it in the back. So anyways, just a quick little story. I felt just obligated or kind of bad for that. Anyways, what's very, very, very interesting about these products is these two products contain the exact same ingredients. These products aren't missing any ingredient that the other one doesn't have. And these products don't have an additional ingredient that the other one doesn't have. They literally contain the exact same things. There's a couple on here, like um, this one's called Buckthorn and they call it like Frangula over here, but like Frangula is Buckthorn. And then they also have like, this one has cayenne red pepper and this one has um, capsaicin and capsaicin is just an extract of red pepper pretty much the same thing but i do want to say that they do hide their exact dosages so although they do contain the same kinds of things in nearly the same amounts they could have different doses of each ones because they don't list them down below i do like that this one gives you more information to be honest guys people say well why don't you list the ingredients well if they listed the ingredients milligram for milligram it could be copied over overnight and these products do work very well so I see why they don't do that but I do appreciate this one because although they do hide um, the exact milligrams of, of certain things like you have a better idea when it's in these groups um, this one isn't just uh, like a big long list you know what I mean so this one has doubled the amount for the same price um, I'm not gonna lie this bottle it does look better you have to pay more for glass I like that it's shiny but not half the product for the same price. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Although it does, does look good, it does work very well. Uh, I don't know the exact milligrams, maybe I'll write it on the video, but when you take two capsules of this, it contains slightly more than this. I think it has like 80 milligrams more. So it's like, wow, you get double for the same price and each pill has a little bit more in it and it contains the exact same ingredients. As far as the Zupu, it worked pretty good. Now, right away when I took it, I had been taking some like Senna, magnesium, things like that. And it was working a little bit, but it definitely wasn't what I needed. As soon as I started taking this, things definitely picked up. And I do wanna say that I ate really pretty terribly throughout when I was taking this. So I'm not really sure how much that affected it. You know what I mean? I was just kind of eating how I wanted. And even though I knew it was gonna mess my stomach up, I was just kind of like, whatever. And then on top of that, I was not taking anything extra. So like sometimes even with this, 
I'll take a little ginger, a little magnesium. I didn't take almost anything with this. So to me, this worked pretty good. I just didn't have the same effect that I got with the Inno Cleanse, but at the same time, when I, I have a few times during my testing, I did mix it up and take the Inno Cleanse and I didn't have anything spectacularly more as far as like coming out of me, you know? Usually with Inno Cleanse, they usually have about three times as many bowel movements as I would normally have. And I'm somebody who has uh, IBSC constipation, so it's almost like I've had so many problems for so long. I mean, I've had problems for days. I've had problems, you know, with on vacation. So something that could actually get that release out of you is just an, an amazing. It's just when I'm constipated, I just can't enjoy literally anything. So to have something that'll really flush it out of you, make you feel better, is amazing. This kind of felt some about double, like as the release that I would have normally. This one definitely felt better than a normal colon cleanse, and it seemed to be slightly gentler. Like I would say, this is probably slightly gentler, slightly less effective compared to this, but overall, like if I had to be stuck with this, I, I really wouldn't mind. It's very, very similar of a product. To be honest, I would just go with the Inno Cleanse because it's the same product and I had no idea until I ordered them that they're literally the same product. This product is good for a colon cleanse. Like if you're somebody who just wants one cleanse, this is all you need. I mean, even halfway through it, I was like, man, I gotta still gotta keep taking these. Like I already feel like it put my body through a lot of cleansing, you know what I mean? These guys are both very, very potent. From my experience, and I've taken this much longer, and there's been times where I ate cleaner when I was taking this, I've had much more release while I was taking this product than this one. There was even times where I took three pills in a day. It says to take two pills at night, and I think Inno Cleanse is, um, I think it says two to three pills in a day. Yeah, two to three pills. So to be honest, guys, I feel like they're pretty much the same product. They do give you that extra level of relief that I feel like normal colon cleanses can't do. And I really hate spending this amount of money on you know these products because these, if you were to buy the supplements and the powders, they're so cheap. Like the how much it costs to get the powder for this stuff is so cheap. But at the same time, like it works so well and I have such a big problem with constipation that this one's gonna stay pretty much in my repertoire. I really wouldn't mind, you know, tossing this one in, but I just don't see a point with it when it costs double the money and it doesn't do anything extra. And then on top of that, it has a little bit less per serving. You know what I mean? So anyways, guys, these are both really, really effective. With Whichever one you go through might be a little better. If you're a little bit concerned about it being rough, maybe go with this one. But at the same time, I do feel like the amount of release that I got with this one versus the rough feeling wasn't that bad. There's times where I've taken lots of Senna and um, my, my all day my stomach's hurt, you know? That's not really the case with either of these products. They only hurt your stomach to get something going and then there's no extra pain, you know what I mean? So um, they're both fantastic. Whichever one you decide to go with will probably be a banger. If you uh, have any sort of constipation, any sort of backed up issues, totally get your hands on some of these. So anyways, guys, that's been my review of Inno Cleanse versus Zupu. Pretty much the same product, very, very similar. And again, I've said it a million times, I would slightly prefer the Inno Cleanse. So we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers I couldn't do without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.